Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before, and today we're going to be talking about the San Diego Chargers versus the Seattle Seahawks. They played this Sunday, like around, I'm guessing, after two or before. I'm not sure what time, but um, what happened is that uh, the reason why is this a uh, big upset is because we all expected for the Seattle Seahawks to go at least like around, I don't know, 14 and one or something. Like they were supposed to have a really high record. And apparently, you know, the San Diego Chargers already gave him the first loss. And what else happened is that Richard Sherman was pretty much screwed up on this game. What happened several times is that he pretty much stood down. You know, he pretty much pressed coverage and he couldn't play the man coverage game. He got burned three out of three. Three times out of three times. And I'm like, God damn, what's going on with Richard Sherman here? You know, he's pretty much one of the best corners in the game. But... He can't play man. He can't. He's like, he's waiting for the zone to happen. Like, he's waiting to for someone to get into his zone. But they never did. They All they did was play slants and a little bit of crow routes here and there on his side. And God damn it, Phillip Rivers actually dared to throw to the right side where Richard Sherman was. And um, it was just incredible. Like, I was like, these guys are exposing Richard Sherman. So they're pretty much, pretty much every single NFL team is going to watch this film. And see how Richard Sherman got exposed. That's what pretty much this game was about. Richard Sherman getting exposed. So what does this mean for Richard Sherman? He got to get it faster, man. He, he's he's got to get somehow faster. He got to get them quick feet. If not, this guy's going to get burned all the time from the inside. This guy's expecting to pass from deep pass. I mean, you can't throw over him. Since you can't throw over him, you got to go under. Oh. Excuse me, all the time. Because if you don't, you're pretty much gonna expect picks, interceptions. This guy gained the best defensive player of the year award. So you can't throw over him. The guy is 6'4 for God's sakes. So what can you expect to do from this guy is um, you know, just trick him. Run some trick plays, make him go down and well actually don't make him go down, actually make him stay up, you know, send some receivers up there and um, you know make him get confused that's the only way you can confuse this guy but also don't forget about chancellor and earl thomas all these other guys you know pretty much can also stand against these, these other receivers but what we notice is that sherman cannot play man that's the thing that's one big exposure here that the, that the san diego Chargers did so i'm really surprised what the san diego Chargers did you know they were pretty much owning it up antonio gates especially man that guy was so beast so, uh, what is your opinion, guys? I want to hear your opinions about the San Diego Chargers versus the Seattle Seahawks. What did you guys expect? Did you guys expect a win from the Seattle Seahawks? Because that's what I expected. I don't go for the Seattle Seahawks, by the way. I don't go for them. I hate them as much as you. As you do for, as their bandwagon fans also. Um, I just thought they were going to win. That's the truth. The San Diego Chargers pretty much look sloppy like every single year. and But at the same time, they're tough. They look really tough, but at the same time, they're sloppy. Like, it's a 50-50 thing going on there. But uh, today, they look really tough. Like, they were, like, going at it. They they tried to expose this guy. And kudos to them, man. They did a hell of a job. The San Diego Chargers did a hell of a job. They look like a playoff team. I think they're kind of ready if they can keep up this kind of attitude. Like, that attitude of, like, we're going to expose your ass and we're going to win the game. That's how they look right now, San Diego. They look very confident. Not too confident like people like some teams do. Like for example, the, the the Cleveland Browns, which they were pretty much too excited that they forgot they had the lead and they pretty much lost the lead in the second half. So they gotta keep on being consistent. That's all the San Diego Chargers need, and they'll be a good team to be in the playoffs. I mean, they, they look pretty goddamn put, goddamn tough. You know, sorry about that. They look goddamn tough, and um, you know, I expect the San Diego Chargers to end up in the playoffs. I think I believe they can also beat the Broncos. Sorry, creation, but that's the truth. I think the San Diego Chargers can beat the Broncos also. If the Seattle Seahawks is considered the number one team of the NFL right now, forget it. <laughs> you know, I don't think so. Not with that kind of attitude that Richard Sherman has, which is uh, too much confidence and expects everything to be, you know, thrown to him. And uh, well, he didn't expect it, but like he expects an interception every time he's being thrown to. But he doesn't expect expect speedsters. Or anything going under him. So that's what happened today. And he got exposed. So I don't know guys. I think that's the only way you can beat Richard Sherman. Like send him some speedsters. Imagine like Mike Wallace or something. And make him play with him like on the bottom. 
did not send him up deep. I mean, we all saw what happened. I mean, a bunch of interceptions, but now that this guy sent him down under, slants, quick slants, quick curl routes, this guy got exposed real badly. So, yeah, San Diego Chargers really a surprise us all, and it was a great major upset. So, anyways, what do you guys think? Leave your opinion in the comment section. Tell me what's up, and if you guys want to hear more news or more updates of the latest games of the NFL, please subscribe for more. I'll bring you guys... Uh, one of the best games, updates, reviews, whatever, you know, I'll just talk about it, give my opinions, and, uh, and you know, let's see what we can expect from them next week. Right now, what I expect from the San Diego Chargers next week is for them to get a win. The Seattle Seahawks, they got to work with Richard Sherman now. They got to switch up the coverage because apparently he got exposed. But wherever the Seattle Seahawks are facing next week, I think they might kind of have a big challenge. They might, whoever it is. I haven't seen the schedule yet, so... Anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and tell me your opinion about this game.